Aaron Rodgers family. I want to welcome you to another, another episode of Max Crypto News, where we talk about these intangible coins at all times, family. Yes, family, give me all this special broadcast. I'm up here in Ghana, family, and Africa, but we still got to keep on what's going on with the market, right? So, fam, listen, if you're not subscribed to BitNax on YouTube, I need y'all to go and hit that subscribe button, family. Hit that notification bell. Um, if you like the content, thumb up the video, leave a comment, or share this information to any family member that you have that is interested in cryptocurrency. I know it's a lot of worried faces today. I know it's a lot of people worried because we had a big price correction and the price of Bitcoin dropped under $50,000. As we speak, it's around $48,000. And I know a lot of people are worried. When I first saw, checked my portfolio this morning, I was a little worried also, right? Because I see that the price is going down. But what I want to show y'all, and I'm gonna show y'all in a quick second is, when you have these double digit um, corrections, you can also set yourself up for a great profit taking if you purchase while it has dripped this low. All right, so let me stop sharing my, let me um get out of this family. Yeah, this is me riding around on the Ghana. You know, just letting people see how it look in a cry, how I look in Ghana. You know what I'm saying? But let me get out of this. Y'all with anointed hands on the page, you can check out these videos, family, right? But let me exit this. All right, and let's go straight. Let's get out of this. And we're gonna straight go straight to the market cap, right? So we see our gate, man. Market cap, we was well over two trillion. Now the market cap is one trillion. $781. Bitcoin has got under it's $48,609. It is going down. And it's early in the morning. So it's right now at the time of this recording, it's 503 in the morning um in America. And it's going down like this. I would not be surprised if Bitcoin continues to climb it a little bit further. I'm gonna show y'all, right? You got Ethereum at $2,204. Before that, let's go straight into Bitcoin. Cause I know we got some word folks. Let's just jump right into this chart, family. All right, so what I wanna do is real fast, I'm gonna try to make a little non, make some sense out of this nonsense cause a lot of people is word, right? So we can see what I did right here was I basically, through from the top to where we fell down to. And that's, we went down $17,726. That's a 27 point 20, 27 point 20% decrease. That's, that's the type of correction we just had right there. 27 point 20% correction. So a lot of people will feel like, oh man, that's the end. But if you look, and you, if you go back in history, what I want to do, I'm going to take us back to the last bull market, right? So we can see, in this last bull market that we had in 2017, we had a 32.14% correction. 32.14% correction. In the midst of the bull run, then we had a 40.36% correction in the midst of the bull run. Then we had another 41.32% correction in the midst of the bull run. We had these corrections, family. Now I could have posted more, but I, I didn't want to post every correction that I saw. But I wanted to just post these quick. value. This is where we top, we hit the top here of that last bull run. We had a correction here also, but we regained it. But this is a significant correction if I actually put it up here. But we regained our momentum and went back above it with all the corrections, right? So let's get here where we at right now. Let's 
one week. So in this one week chart, we can see we had a nice correction, man. And, but you see, you got the 13 day and the 34 moving average that haven't even crossed, right? And so it's not, on, on the weekly chart, we haven't even had, this is showing that we're still bullish. You look at this weekly chart, what this shows is that we're still bullish and the 13 and the 34 day moving average have not even crossed yet. So we're still bullish on this weekly chart. We haven't even got not bullish on the weekly, right? So we're still bullish on the weekly. Um, now when we go to the one hour, we're gonna take it to the one hour. Now we can look at it and see that it's, it's some things going on, right? So you can see when you look at this, you can see this is a bearish cross. We already got a bearish cross. We're going down. Oh, excuse me. These are our levels of support. I'm going to just show y'all. I would not be surprised if we come touch this 46, this line right here. $47,074. This is an area of support that we have. Um, this is a critical line. It is critical that we do not go under that. Because if we go under the 47,000, the 44,000 is in play. Keep it straight up with y'all. If we hit this line at 47,000 and go under it, and we 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 lose this support here, we come under it. Our next stop is going to be four to four thousand nine hundred four dollars. And, and if we bypass that one, we coming down to forty three thousand. It's going to shake a lot of people, right? But that's that's a major drop, right? But you know, this is this is areas of concern for Bitcoin. Forty seven thousand dollars, family. We cannot watch. We don't need to go under this. I mean, if we go under, we can withstand it and hit in. But if we do not want to get under forty-four thousand, we don't want to go under this one. Trust me. But this basically is where our support is at. This is where I'm looking. Uh, I would not be surprised if we get forty-seven thousand. Go down to forty-seven thousand. Right. But overall, the chart is still bullish. For Bitcoin, it's still bullish. It's not bearish, but um, in the one hour, just letting us know that it's some pullback. Somebody taking a look. profit taking is being done. I can I already know that a lot of people are taking profit. Um, let's get back to the market. Uh, Ethereum, two thousand two hundred four dollars is down ten percent. Binance, four hundred eighty eight dollars down ten percent. Everything is down, y'all. Tether. XRP is down almost 20%, ADA 14%. Dogecoin is still at 24 cent at number seven. It's down a little bit at 10%. Everything is down, family. We got double digit down days. Um, you know, and this is the opportunity to strengthen your positions in certain altcoins. You got to just give you the opportunity strengthen your position and don't be afraid of this because if you've been in the market you know it dips right um some more news is that square cash cash app raises minimal bitcoin withdrawal to 0 0.001 so it's equivalent to around 51 dollars so you gotta at least when you withdraw bitcoin from cash app and making you withdraw at least 50 dollars yeah <laughs> So they can get their fees, man. So, but that's what's going on with Cash App Family. Now listen, family, I've been kind of like trying to tell y'all to pivot. Well, hold on, before I get y'all to pivot, let's let's check out this pie network, man. Y'all want to get this free pie while you can. Let me play this video. The future of money is evolving rapidly and no one wants to be left behind. 
Mining Bitcoin is time and energy intensive, requires extensive physical resources, and advanced technical knowledge. Introducing Pi, the first and only digital currency you can mine on your phone. That's big. This novel approach, developed by Stanford PhDs, allows you to mine cryptocurrency on your phone by leveraging your existing social connections with no cost and no battery drain. Have a phone? You've got Pi. It's time to join the revolution. Download Pi today for Apple or Android and get your piece of the pie. All right, family. So um, if you want to get the Pi coin, it's a link in the description of the referral code Max Crypto News, right? Then you can get your piece of the pie. All right, family. Now, y'all know I've been telling y'all about bankroll flow. I've been telling y'all for a long time about bankroll flow and getting this residual income. So you can see I got 272 um, Banker X right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and cash these out. Now, I'm a, I'm not gonna roll, I'm playing. I'm playing it right now. We're gonna play these. Let me get these right now. Um, and family, the reason why I've been telling y'all about this is I'm trying to help y'all set up, man. So when the market start going bad, you will be in a situation where you're not losing everything and you're not going to lose all your gains because you have a residual income coming in. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to set up and do. So now I got 322 um, Banker X. Now what I do, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn them into TRX. That's what you do. Then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with my TRX. I've been getting CNS with TRX. I'm probably going to keep going because I want to get me at least um, 200,000 CNS before it's all said and done. Maybe in a half a minute. So let me go ahead and I have 50. I'm going to keep 100. Telling them, I'm going to keep at least 100 bank corrects. All right, so I'm going to just sell these into TRX. I'll get 235 TRX. I don't know why. All right. All right, so it happened. It's there now. All right, so now I got my TRX. I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do, but I already know I'm gonna buy me some CNS with the TRX family. I'm gonna go and I showed y'all how to do it, but you can get you some CNS also, or you can come over here if you wanna get, um, if you don't want CNS, let's say you want some Clever. You know what I'm saying? If you want Clever, it don't matter. Go to your, Change, which is the following next exchange. You get what you want from over here. Um, you get exactly what you want, family. Whatever they have on the exchange. Um, also, y'all, um, I got to do a video on GSX because um, on the 27th they're gonna start giving out dividends um, for the, the holders of the GSX. Damn, I got I forgot I gotta do that video, right? But right now, you see, I'm getting to the Polonium Dex Exchange. Um, I want to get me some what is the CNS? Yeah. I'm give me some CNS. Let me see what I want. Um I'm gonna give you 15,000. 
Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So now I just um I order down here pending. It's a pending order, but um it'll it'll go through. Um, so I'm just I'm building up my CNS that I already went through. Yeah. So now I got over a hundred thousand CNS. All right, so I'm building my CNS stash up basically. That's exactly what I'm doing. Um, all right, now one more thing. Hey, look, elephant money is the same thing as far as um, its own bankroll, but it allows you to get residual income. This is all I'm about now. I'm, I'm setting myself up. Now, I should be rolling, but I'm not rolling the videos no more. I'm taking all my damn, I'm taking all my shit out. Okay. I'm claiming all my my um rewards for my um video and I'm gonna turn that into um I'm gonna turn my video rewards there yeah, it's gone so what I'm gonna do is once I do that I come to pancake swap I'm gonna just swap my BDO for um BUSD. I'm just using the exchange for pancake swap. And I'm gonna just exchange y'all. Basically, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna exchange my BDO into BUSD. Right? Because it's taking us a while to load. Right? Yeah. And then, what I'm going to do is once I exchange, I'm going to change my BDO. into BUSD. That's the Binance, um, basically the stable coin for Binance. Come on. Right, let's take one more time. Come on, what is it, man? What are y'all doing? Oh, okay, hold up. Am I signed in yet? I'm signed in. So that got a pull up fan, right? But look, then the only thing I'm gonna do is my own. Um, I'm gonna roll. This is um, BUSD, this is basically the dollar peg. I'm gonna roll all this into this. Um, I'm also gonna deposit whatever BUSD I have. I'm gonna deposit it and roll all this at once. Um, Cause I want that to go up. So here we go. So I'm gonna send all the BDO. Um, come on, man. Some of this. I swap it for nine. Basically nine dollars and thirty cent. I swap it real fast. I'm gonna wait for it to confirm. I'm gonna pop up here and tell you, see, it's done. It's on the Binance Smart Chain. You see that? You see, I mean, it's waiting to be processed. Quick way to stop waiting. I'll come and see if I see it up here. All right, so now my balance is there. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna deposit all that $18.27. I'm gonna deposit all this. Plan is to get this to like fifteen thousand, ten thousand into this. All right, now I'm gonna roll. I gotta roll my five dollars. I'm gonna roll that into it too. And there I go. Now it's done. So now, once the market get bad, this is the plan, y'all. 
Just a little inside information. Once we get into the bear market and we're not in the bull market, what I will be doing then is instead of rolling, I'm going to be claiming my BUSD. So my plan is to get this up to the point where I'm getting $100 to $200 a day that they'll be paying me every day as far as my APY. So I have to build it up now. You want to build it up before we go into a bear market. So I'm going to slowly keep building it up. Slowly keep building and building and building it up. And so I can start withdrawing when we're in the bear market. Um, with that being said, family, I thank y'all for watching this episode of Max Crypto News. Um, I look forward to, to y'all on the next video. Um, y'all be safe. I love y'all. Why oh, do?